So, welcome back to my channel. I hope you have enjoyed part one. This is now part two, or day two, whatever you want to call it. But I hope you guys are enjoying the content in Portugal. Subscribe if you haven't, guys. We're now on road to 5K. Can we hit it before Christmas? Turn on all notifications, you're not to do. And if you are enjoying these videos, be sure to hit the like button, guys. Because I'm enjoying myself here. Today, we're going to go for some breakfast, and then we're going to go to the beach club. We have to get a little shuttle bus that takes us to our little beach, which is part of our hotel, apparently. So I'll see you at breakfast. Oh, where we come back from? Straight in it. Shuttle bus ready to go to Duna Beach, which is our beach club. Um, this is a free service that takes us there and back in certain time slots. So, yeah, we'll see when we get there. to the beach club my battery is kind of gonna die but yeah apparently there's music here and stuff soon I think the speakers over that side there but yeah it's looking good here the beach is right over there as well so we might go there soon but for now we're just gonna chill in the beach club and have a bit of a swim and stuff a few drinks it's a bit cloudy when the Sun was out it felt warmer than it was yesterday for now we've just got some water it's 26 degrees doesn't feel like it at the moment, but when the sun's out it does. So the beach club is done. We're gonna now walk to the local Duna Beach, which is right near the beach club. And then after that, we're gonna head back, get changed, and then ready to hit the red cliffs in the distance over there. This is the Duna Beach here, which I showed you earlier. I've only got one battery today. My spare one's back at the hotel, so. I'll only film a little bit more before we go back. We're going back in like an hour, so. Yeah, so, plotted up, a bit windy here so you probably won't be able to speak, but we're looking to go in, we're going to have a quick dip in the Portuguese water, <laughs> apparently there's a lot of sharks in these waters, but doubt they'll be this close, but we're going to take a quick dip and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I filmed a little bit of us getting in the sea, as you saw. Down there, we've just, I've just come back to the beach club to shower off, get rid of all the sand. <laughs> it's the most annoying thing about the beach, but we're all showered off now, we're ready. We might find a bar near here, because we've got to wait about 40 minutes till our shuttle bus leaves. So we're walking up here, we've got about half hour. We think we found a bar there. Might be a restaurant, we're not sure yet. We're gonna try and see, we've got half hour. Time to get on the coach, but I think we're gonna miss it. It's 46 and it leaves at 45. <laughs> so we're now rushing back. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna make it, guys. I think, ah, oh, it's leaving now, I can just see it. The next slot is like another hour, so. It's gonna be a long walk back now. The coach wasn't there, it's gone. So we're now having to walk back down the streets of Portugal. It's gonna take another 20 minutes, I think. The bad thing is, our phones are nearly dead. They're both on 2 1% or 2%. So yeah, we best hope we find our way back. If not, we have to try and get a taxi. Alright, I know you guys probably can't see from here, but we've spotted the boats where the docks are. So we're getting close now. <laughs> it wasn't too hard to find, luckily. I've got blisters on my feet from these sliders. That's why I didn't want to walk back, but I don't mind. I enjoy walking to be honest. Plus it's nice weather, so can't complain. So we found Lagos train station. Looks a bit different to the London Underground. <laughs> it 
was the docks that was ours, luckily. That's where we was yesterday, on day one. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I'm so lucky, because our phones died. We just went off instinct, and then we found the boats, and that's when I knew we was near, so. We're nearly home now. I just want to get back and change out these sliders, because they're hurting my feet. So we finally made it back. <laughs> I'm looking a bit red today. The sun was hot. Went to the shop, got some Cheetos, some ketchup and cheese ones. Try them out, see what they're like. And we've got some water. I'm gonna chill out, shower, get ready, and then we're gonna hit the Red Cliff beaches. Okay, so we're dressed, ready to hit the Red Cliff beaches. We're going to Priya, I, I don't know how to pronounce them, Priya di Camillo, I think something like that anyway we're going around there there's a few beaches all next to each other and they all have red cliffs so we're gonna go look for somewhere to eat around there and then we're gonna go see the sunset on the cliffs hopefully so yeah we've just ordered a cab so hopefully be here in a minute it's quite cheap we'll see you when we get to the beach So we're gonna try this restaurant here. It's rated really good for fish in Lagos, so I'm hoping to try it. You can't even see me right now because of the sun. But yeah, I'm hoping to try it. We haven't booked, so I'm hoping they have a little bit of space. So we'll just see. If they don't, then we'll be walking to find another one. So that restaurant was fully booked, like I thought it would be anyway, because it's a popular seafood restaurant. But we're just walking down towards another beach now. I'm hoping to find another restaurant near there. We should be able to find one at least. So, catch up with you soon once we're there. So, there's a restaurant just behind me. Don't know if you can see it. But I don't think we're gonna eat right now because the sun sets in about an hour or so. We found a cliff that we can get up where the sun is. So I think we're gonna walk up here. As you can see, that's where the sun is. Yeah, I think we're gonna walk up here, wait for the sun to set, and maybe have a late dinner today. I tried to let go of all of the nonsense that you, but that you pulled me through. I give it up to you. I do it all for you. Maybe this feeling's overdue. All right, guys. So. Stress over. Finally, look, we're at the top of the mountain. I was hoping to film the sunset there, as you can see, but it's not setting over the sea. The sea's this side, so yeah. We kind of had a special moment. As you guys saw, I was hiding it the whole day. In here, I had it on the way to the cliffs. But she said yes, guys. She finally said yes. Panic over, stress over. I was stressing all through the airport trying to get this through. Without her seeing, I was hiding it for weeks. Panic over, I can now enjoy my holiday. <laughs> oh, that was not stressful, but yeah, it was kind of hard work. But I got it done. We went up to the cliffs and I'd done the deed. So she's now happy. Are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> room. So yeah, I think I need to just climb down this mountain, go for a drink or something to calm, calm myself down a bit <laughs> after all that. But yeah, can't believe it. She said yes. So now it's the long walk back now, down the mountain. Well, we've got to watch where we're walking. It's a bit dodgy, yeah? But the sun is now setting up there. Chantel's there. Yeah, you can't really see because it's gone dark on the frame. But yeah, the sun's setting behind us. What a beautiful view. Time to walk back and hopefully find a restaurant to celebrate so no cabs are available so we're walking and walking and walking <laughs> we're hoping a cab comes available soon if not it's like a half hour walk back and we've already done about 15 minutes 20 minutes walking our feet are getting blistered up but we're hoping a cab 
becomes available in a minute. And then we can get back, get some food. Because I'm getting hungry now, are you? Yeah. Yeah, so we need to get some food. Sun is now set as well, so it's going to get dark really soon. We've definitely walked up and worked up an appetite. Walked up an appetite, whatever you want to call well, we it. Have up one We've walked up one as well. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll get back to you soon because it's a bit windy and we're walking. Okay, so we're back at the square, Portugal Square. I'm not sure what it's called to be honest. I know it's in the Algarve. Like oh, so much artwork here as well. Look at this building. So nice. The artwork around here is amazing. But yeah, there was no cabs available, so we had to walk. More walking. We've done so much walking today. But yeah, we need to find a restaurant now. They're all really busy still. I thought they'd be dying off a bit now because people have finished eating, but they don't seem to be dying off. So hopefully we can get a table. <laughs> Dinner's now done. <sighs> we are tired. I had Portuguese style steak and Chantal had lamb cutlets. We had prawns and mussels to start. <sighs> I couldn't really vlog in there because there was a lot of music. <sighs> so tired. It's been a long day. But the stress is now off my shoulders. <sighs> it's finally done. We can relax now. But we're nearly back to our hotel, so we're gonna have a drink now. If it's windy by the way, I'm sorry, but we're gonna have a drink at a hotel and then we're gonna hit the hay. That'll be the end of day two, part two. And we're back at the hotel. As you can see, finally made it back. Okay, so we've had our drinks. The pool's right there. I'm gonna go back to our room now. Glad I've done it. Finally, they put the sign up. When we got here, the sand fell off the wall. <laughs> Here's our room number. But let me find the key. Oh, still got the crisps here from earlier. Oh yeah, what a day. What a day that was. That is a weight lifted off my shoulders now. All day that was building up. <laughs> Ah, I was trying to hide it so much, but finally, the airport guys, like, through the x-rays and stuff, it was in my hand luggage, and her bag went off to get checked, and I thought mine was going to as well, so I was stressing, but no, luckily it didn't, and that is the end of part two, day two, whatever I name it, because I am shattered, I've done about 20k steps today, it's been a lot of walking and a lot of hills, Algarve has got a lot of hills, so if you're coming here, be sure to wear some good shoes because it's a lot of walking and a lot of hills. But I hope you have enjoyed, guys. We're on road to 5k now, so subscribe if you haven't. Turn on all notifications because I've got more of these videos coming. And if you did enjoy, be sure to hit the like button because it really does help my channel grow. And right now, I'm going to get changed and do my teeth and get ready for bed. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Mine, mine, mine.